Magandang araw, mga kalagalag. Andito na naman po tayo sa ating uh, channel para i-discuss ko po ang factoring special products involving cubes. Uh, sa mga previous videos po natin, meron tayong uh, topic about special products involving cubes. Kaya lang, we are getting the products. So, we are multiplying. So, in here, uh, what we are going to do is to factor it out. So, kabalik tara naman po. Okay? So, let's start. So, this is, um, dalawa lang po ito kasi yung, is, yung dalawa, yung cube, so parang madali lang siya i-factor kasi gagayahin mo lang tatlong beses pare-parehas. So, somehow, I don't want to discuss it anymore kasi most of the time, hindi naman po siya ginagamit as... Uh, example sa problem solving, hindi, hindi na pinapapactor out ng teacher yung madali lang naman masyado. So, okay? So, we will focus in these two um, two products involving cubes or how to factor this out. So, for example, ano po yung ibig kong sabihin? Uh, ito po, ito yung Ito yung given, for example, ito po yung sagot niya, yung product niya. Pag minultiply niyo po yung x plus y sa x squared minus xy plus y squared, your answer will be x cubed plus y cubed. Kaya siya tinawag na sum of two cubes. So our lesson for today is the other way around. So from here, gagawin po natin ganito. So how will you do it? So yun po yung process. And similarly with the difference of two cubes, so from this um, binomial term, Ito po, gagawin natin ganito. So, are you ready? Okay. So, this is it. So, we have, um, from here, so you have x cubed plus y cube is equal to x plus y times quantity x squared minus xy plus y squared. Let me explain this first. San galing, san galing at naging ganito. So, for example, san galing itong mga to. So, for example, so, what the technique is that, for example, you have x cubed plus y cubed. Just uh, make it your first terms here are, so you copy the sign, copy the sign. Then you get the cube root of this. So, if you get the cube root of x cubed, that is x. If you get the cube root of y to the y cubed is y. Okay, that will be your first term. First terms here. Ito yung first quantity nyo dyan. Yung first factor nyo. How about the second set? The second factor. So, um, if you have one quantity here, okay, that is understood one, what will you, what will you multiply to it, to your x, that you will get x cubed. Right? Diba? It's x squared. Okay, it's x squared. So, that is x squared. Okay. Okay, so, just square this. Just square this term. This term. Whenever, if there are terms or there, there is a, a numerical coefficient here, you just square it. Square nyo lang po. So, in, I, I just square x, so x squared. So, how about the middle term? The middle term is simply the product of x and y. So, x times y x, y, then whatever is the sign here, you write the opposite sign, which is negative. Okay? So that's it. And our last term will come from the square of your second term in your first factor. Just square this part. So that will be your third term here in your second factor. I will repeat. So how will you get this? You get the cube root of x here of x cube here that will serve that will give you x. You get the cube root of y cube of your second term that will give you y. Okay? Whatever is the sign here is your sign here. Your second factor, you will look at this. Your first factor. How will you get the first term here? You square this first term, x squared. You how about the middle term? Just get the product of this um, factor, your first factor, x and y. x times y is xy. Then you write the opposite sign or the opposite operation 
this is addition, that is subtraction. Okay? So, and the last term, your third term, will be the square of this uh, term, y. So, y squared. So, let's have an example. Let's try. So, 64x cubed plus 27y cubed. Okay, 64x cubed plus 27y cubed. You get the cube root of 64, that is 4. 4. You get the cube root of x cubed, that is x. Then you copy the sign, positive. You get the cube root of 27, that is 3. You get the cube root of y cubed, that is y. So what is cube root? Uh, six, four, y 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. While 3, well, this is 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So you recall your, your cube root. Okay? So y cube, cube root of y cube is 3y. I, y rather. Okay? So how will you get this second term, second factor? So you will look at this. You will look at this. 4x plus 3y. You square the, your first term. What is the square of 4x? You have quantity here, you square that. That is 4 squared x squared. So simplify 4 squared, that is 16 x squared. Gets? Then you multi your middle term will come from the product of 4x and 3y. 4x times 3y is 12xy. Here. Then you copy the sign, opposite your sign here. This is positive, so your sign will be negative. Or your operation will be subtraction. This is addition, opposite of that, subtraction. Then your last term will be the square of this positive 3, 9. How you square this? You square it. So 3 times 3, 9. Y squared is Y squared. So that is your answer. Okay, so second example. A cubed, D cubed, plus 125. So you get this, the cube root of A3, A cubed, and D cubed. So it's the it's just a d. Okay, when you get the cube root of exponents, uh, you just divide your exponent to three. That is the hint. You just divide the exponent to three. Yes, yeah, that that is the hint. Okay, we will do that in series of examples later. Okay, so you have a d. Your, your, your operation will be positive, then the cube root of 125 is 5. So you have your first factor, AD, AD plus 5. AD is Alexandra Dominic, my niece. Okay, hello, baby. Okay, so times, where will you get your second factor? So your second factor will be, your per, the first term in your second factor will be the square of your first term here. So you square AD. That is a squared, d squared, right? So how about your middle term again? Your middle term will be the product of these two. And you, the opposite, the, the, the operation is opposite this. So 5AD, positive 5AD, it will become negative 5AD here. Then you square 5, 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so how about... Example number three. Example number three is x cubed plus 64 is equal to x. Uh, where did you get x? You, you again, x cubed, cube root of x cubed. Or how you get, how you do that? x raised to 3 over 3. It's always like that. 3 over 3. Similarly with this one. 3 over 3, kaya magigis yung x. x raised to 1 is you never write 1 anymore. Okay? So x. So you get the cube root of 64. So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So that's cube root of 64. If not, uh, hindi abala sa inyo, you memorize the basic uh, cube root or factor and 3 times, 4 times, mga 1 to, kahit yung hanggang 10 lang po. Kasi it's always used in, in series of examples. Lagi nagamit yung um, cube root ng 1, which is 1, cube root. Uh, so 2 is 8, you know, two, 2 cube is 8, then what's next? 1, 8, 27, 64, uh, 4 times 4, 16 times 4, then 5 is, I think, 125. So I myself, I, I, I hindi ko me masyado memorize, pero 
mahukuha niyo po yun, mahikita niyo sa sa sagot naman kahit dito. Maiisip mo. Okay? So, kasi yung 10 cube is 1000 na. Okay? So, paliit na paliit. So, pal palapit ka ng palapit. Okay, so you get the product of this. X times 4 is 4X. Then opposite the, the sign or the, the operation, which is positive, then we become negative. You square 4, that is 16. So that is your answer. The factors of X cubed plus 64. How about Z cubed plus 1? So again, you get the cube root of Z, which is Z, 3 over 3, which is C, Z. Plus cube root of 1 is 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. That's it. Then you, um, you square z, so that is z squared. That is pro that product is z, z times 1 is z, opposite the sign or opposite the operation, positive, negative. Then uh, square of 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So that is your product. Okay? If you have questions, do not hesitate to ask. You write it in our comment box. I will try my best to answer you back. Okay? So how about difference? So if your sign is difference or subtraction, okay? So ganun din po, pero magbabago lang tayo ng, ng sign dito. Actually, if you solve this in long method, pag sinod nyo po yan sa long method, bakit, bakit na wawala yung, yung middle term sa final answer pag minultiply? Because the product of this is x positive xy, right? This is negative xy. Nagka-cancel lang po sila. Pag nilong method nyo yan. Similarly, this one, positive 12y. This is negative 12y. Nagka-cancel lang sila. Kaya natitira yung ito po. Dalawang terms na lang. Okay? So, pag subtraction naman, uh, ganito naman po yun. So, you have uh, difference of two, two cubes. So, notice you get the cube root of this, you have x, then you copy the sign for your first factor. Then your cube root of y, that is y. Then the second factor is that you again, you square your first term, square. Then you multiply these terms, x, y, and opposite again. So, the product of x times negative y is negative x, y, right? So, opposite of negative is positive x, y. So then you square the last term, which is y squared. So that's it. So let's have an example. 8 minus m cubed. So you get the cube root of 8, which is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is uh, 8, right? So the cube root of 8 is 2. Then you copy the sign, minus. Then m, m, m cubed is, the cube root of m cubed is m, y. m, 3 over 3, or m1, or m. You don't write 1 anymore. Okay, so how will you get the second factor? You square 2, 4. Then you multiply 2 and m, that is 2m. Your sign is negative. Opposite of that, positive. Right? So how are you, are you identifying the pattern? Then your last term, m, uh, negative m times negative m is positive m squared. Okay, so that's the, uh, the pattern. So how about this one? 27x cubed minus 8y cubed. So again, you take the cube root of 27, which is 3. x cubed is x. Minus, minus, gagayahin nyo po sa first factor. Then cube root of 8y cubed is 8e. 8 cube root of 8 is 2. Then cube root of y cubed is y. So saan nga galing yun? y raised to 3 over 3 or y raised to 1. You don't, you no longer raise a right one here. So what will be your second factor? Your second factor will be the square of your first term here. So 3x squared is 9x squared plus 6xy dito. Where did, saan nyo kinuha yan? You multiply 3x times 2y negative. So opposite lang nun, gawin yung positive. Ayan po yun. Yan na yung factor. Then you square the last term. Negative 2y squared is 4y squared. Ito na po yun. Okay? Can you follow? So, how about this one? A cubed, B cubed, minus 125C cubed. Okay, so you get the cube root of A cubed, B cubed. So, sabi ko nga, you simply uh, uh, divide your exponent to 3 kasi cube root. Pag fourth root, eh, divide 4, ganun lang yon. So, 
Um, ayun po. So, you, you get the cube root of a cube, b cube, that is a, b. Then, you copy the sign, that is negative. Then, cube root of c cube, 125 is 5. Cube root of 125 is 5. 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 125. So, cube root of c cube is c. Nakakauhaw po. So, 5c. So, what will be your second, um, the terms in your second factor? So, you, you just square your uh, first term here. So, square of this is a squared b squared here. Then, how about your middle term? So, you multiply it, 5abc. That is negative, opposite of that, positive 5abc. Then, you square your second term in your first factor, which is negative 5c squared. That is 25c squared. So, that is your answer. Just uh, look at your uh, books at the end of each chapter. You locate this pattern and you are able. You will be able to answer it immediately. Just follow the, the pattern. So, 125 minus 64a cubed. So, you have 5. So, where did, we, where did I get 5? By simply getting the cube root of 125. That is 5. Yung sign, negative, negative here. 64a cubed, so cube root of 64 is 4. Okay? Sabi ko nga, malaking tulong kung memorize nyo yung, yung 1 times 1 times 1, kahit hanggang tatlong beses lang. 1 times 1 times 1, para alam nyo rin yung square root. Kasi uh, malala, mag, mag, magagamit nyo din po yun later on sa special, cube, special uh, factors involving squares naman. So, okay? So, 64, square root of 64 is uh, 4. Cube, cube root, cube, rather, cube root of 64 is 4. Then, cube root of a cube is 4a. So, you have your first factor. Then, 25, uh, how will you get this 25? You square this. Square of uh, 5 is 5 squared is 25. You have your first factor. How will you get positive 20a? So, 5 times 4, A is negative 20, A. Sabi ko nga, opposite yung sign. Positive 20, A. So, where will you get this 16, A squared? You square negative 4, A. Negative 4, A squared is 16, A squared. So, that will be your answer. I hope you are able to recognize pattern here. Okay? So, here are my references. So, you can have more examples for in this link. So, sana po, I check nyo, then you answer it. And that's it. So, please follow my uh, YouTube channel, Lagalag na Guru. In my channel, you will learn um, mathematics. And soon, I will be uploading topics in physics also and chemistry. Okay? So, what we have here? Thank you. So, what we have here is actually a picture taken when I was in uh, small lagoon, El Nido, Palawan. Okay? So, every every topic that I will be discussing, I will share to you some one picture that I napuntahan ko na po sa Pilipinas and sa abroad para po maintindihan nyo kung bakit ko tinawag ang sarili kong lagalag na guro. Okay? So, salamat, mabuhay, I hope you learned something.